I just love this character so much. Selena is back on the campaign trail. As you might imagine, things don't go exactly as uh, she would like them to go. This very um, unfamiliar situation where we have a uh, former president <laughs> still campaigning to be president. She looks amazing. <laughs> That's all my character knows is about her outfits. She, she's pretty much Jesus to him. She's still the same Selena. She's going to do whatever she can to get that uh, brass ring. You can expect pandering. You're probably going to see a fair amount of that. Familiar faces are in different positions, making things not ideal for her. We get to sort of revisit elements and little bits of things that we played with in previous seasons. Bargaining and uh, arm twisting and, you know, vulgarity as usual. Catherine and I are a part of that in certain ways, our family, I should say. It's interesting to watch her sort of navigate this role that she really resents, honestly. I, I couldn't understand how they could wrap this up, but um, as usual, these folks are way ahead. It's been such a complete blessing to be able to play this narcissist. This season, it's like the codependency just keeps going up a notch. I've been very excited this whole season for Amy because she's just really at a crossroads in her life and that's really fun to play. You know, I assume Dan's gonna have some downfalls, he always does. He thinks he's gonna get ahead and climb the ladder in his sort of grinning, Cheshire Cat kind of way. I'm a big fan of Confidence Without Merit. Because he's on the campaign trail, there is a very large stage for his Confidence Without Merit. Mike sort of becomes a member of the media this season. I think Selena keeps ties with Mike so she can use him to her own benefit. It's really fun to play with the idea of what Catherine's like as a mother because while she's very different from Selena, she also can't really escape the fact that she's been nurtured by two truly terrible uh, human beings. Something I'm really excited about are the scenes that I've gotten to do with Julia. My character has a pr pretty fun uh, journey this season, trying to choose his uh, allegiances and alliance. Once this is over, Gary's going to go into a full rehab center. Yeah, it would be a good spin-off. I just hope that it has the comedy legs to keep going. I hope that it stays relevant and stays funny for decades. We've really, I think, told a really good satire of like modern day American politics and how it works. It's shown maybe a little bit behind the curtain. Washington in general, it's, it's, it's sometimes adult high school. Her lack of morality is kind of fueled by a, a narcissism that I think is hilarious. You know, and everybody's trying to get around the popular kid. It's like its own version of Mean Girls. It manages to be satirical without being broad. It's a protest show, for me anyway. Even the show itself, I think, may mean something else than it did when it started. I hope the legacy of Veep will be a cautionary tale. You can look at the characters in our show as aspirational now. The bar has been lowered so far that we actually look like good people. There's not a lot of shows that actually make it to a proper finale, you know, that last. And I think, I hope Veep is one of them. I think that it will absolutely be known as one of the best comedies ever made. It's been, it's, it's been a real joy to play. I'm gonna miss playing such a well-rounded, comedic character. I really will. I'm sad to, to say goodbye to it. <laughs>